Hi, this video is going to show you how to set up side chaining in Cubase 8, although the same technique will apply all the way back to Cubase 5. What we're going to be doing is using a bass drum to control the volume of a pad track, which is a typical application which is used in loads of dance music, etc., for the last 15 20 years or so. We're going to need two tracks. The first one is going to be our drum track. I'm going to set up an LM9 because nearly everybody's got one of those. In this case, I'll put it onto a beatbox to give it a more authentic electronic sound, and I'll call that drums. And the other track we're going to use is going to be our pad track. And again, just going to pick from synth, just going to pick the prologue and then find the strings preset here. Fairly basic. We'll demonstrate this perfectly. We need two parts. So on the drum track, I'm going to create a bass drum part using the line tool and having set my quantize to quarters. That's just going to draw in that bass drum part as you can hear there. And on our strings track, just going to program in a simple C minor chord as something to sidechain. So if we play that initially, we can hear the volume of the strings isn't being altered by the drums. And that's not the sound we're looking for. The way we're going to do this is we're going to put a compressor on the strings track and then we're going to use the drums to alter the level of compression that's being applied. We do that either in the inspector, so we can go to the insert section of the inspector here, or you can do it on the channel settings window. The two settings reflect each other, so you'll see when I put the compressor here, it's exactly the same as the compressor in the uh, inspector. It's the same thing, just being viewed in a different way. So let's put our compressor in here and importantly you can see I've got a variety of compressors here but the one that I'm going to use is the standard VST compressor it's a VST3 plugin which has got the three little lines here and that's what you need for this because VST3 plugins have the ability to use side chaining once we have that in place we can see the compressor appears we're going to make some settings on here which are going to make it really obvious that the side chaining is working they'll probably be a bit severe at first and you can use them to fine tune how much compression you want applied. So I'm going to turn the release almost all the way down, the ratio all the way up, and the threshold a fair way down. So we can see that this transfer graph here is fairly severe. And most importantly, we're going to turn the side chain on here. Okay. So that once that's done, we can now control the compression being applied to the strings track using another track. And in this case, we're going to do it with the drums track so when I click on the drums track we're going to go to sends again you could do this in the channel settings window I click on audio sends here and from this list that appears you can see down the bottom we've got sidechain strings which is our compressor we can see over there so when I click on that turn it on with the power button now when I play the track again we will see here the gain reduction being applied but also hear the difference so now you can hear obviously that's working pretty hard there and you could fine tune it in terms of the amount of compression you wanted uh, etc by altering threshold ratio release and also the attack which will control how quickly uh, the compression comes on or not depending on the signal you've got triggering it but that's the basics on how to set this up